Hello, you're watching the only talk show produced by robots for robots. Thank you. Let's have a big round of applause for my production crew. And I'm your host, IR2. <coughs> Thank you. Now, let's go to our patented topic generator to see what today's show is about. Today we're going to discuss... How long will it take until an asteroid destroys all life on Earth and robots take over the universe? As always, let's go to the random phone dialer and make some calls. Let's see... Papa Boya's Pizza App Pickup Delivery. This is Robot IR2. Please state your model number and designation. What? Look, where are you calling from? Outer space. We don't deliver outside of Kings County. Let's try again. Hello? This is Robot IR2. Please state your model number and designation. This is Aaron Ryan, astronomer. What a coincidence. We have an astronomy question. We would like to know how long until an asteroid destroys the planet Earth. I'm sorry, there's no asteroid that's big enough to actually destroy the Earth anywhere nearby. I see. That is most disturbing. Are there at least some asteroids large enough to do serious damage? There are, and there's quite a few. Really? Um, uh, most asteroids that could cause major damage to Earth are one kilometer in size. And we think there's about a thousand of those. That sounds like great odds. Can we put an image of that up? Sweet. But wait, Aaron Ryan Astronomer, are you just getting our hopes up, or do you really know what you're talking about? I actually look for asteroids, so I use both ground-based telescopes and the Spitzer Space Telescope to look for asteroids in different pieces of the sky. This Spitzer Space Telescope you speak of, it's a telescope that's, what, in space? Yes, it is. It looks in the thermal infrared, which is great for asteroids because they're pretty warm. How does that work? Well, when I use Spitzer, I look at a bunch of data that's already been taken of a piece of sky multiple times in, oh, a few days. And when I do this, I look at the images and I display them in different colors. And if I see a trail of something that is like red, green, blue, I know that's an asteroid because it's moving. Interesting technique. Have you found many asteroids close to the Earth? Well, most of the asteroids I'm finding live in the main asteroid belt, so between Mars and Jupiter. But I have found a few near-Earth asteroids that live between the orbit of Earth and Mars. So they could wipe out all humans on the Earth? Not really. Most of them are closer to Mars than the Earth, but... Um, maybe once in a billion years there might be an asteroid to hit the Earth that's significant. <laughs> A billion years? I don't think we can wait that long, Aaron Ryan Astronomer. Can't we speed things up? Um... Uh, Maybe we could make more asteroids to increase our odds. Where do asteroids come from, anyway? Well, most of these asteroids are pieces of debris that formed when the solar system formed. Kind of like a construction company that leaves piles of dirt around? Yeah, well, whoever built the planets wasn't very efficient, and they left them junk. Is our solar system the only place with asteroids? No, actually, we've found other solar systems with dust disks around them. We do know about this star HD 69830. With the amount of dust we see around it, we think there has to be at least a thousand times more asteroids around that star than we have in our own solar system. I don't suppose we have the technology to get those asteroids and throw them at the Earth. Um, not so much, unfortunately. <laughs> Okay, I guess. Wait a minute. Aaron Ryan Astronomer, is Spitzer the only telescope that can find asteroids? No, it actually isn't. Uh, most asteroid work is normally done with optical telescopes. But is Spitzer better? In some respects, yes. Spitzer lets us find smaller asteroids, which would be too faint in the optical for us to see with a telescope down here on Earth. Ah, so what will happen when Spitzer ultimately stops working? Well, it is going to be a bad thing for the solar system community because it'll be really hard for us to find small asteroids. 
hopefully things will keep going. So and if, say, someone accidentally destroyed this picture space telescope with, I don't know, a homemade robot death ray, that would probably reduce Earth's capabilities of detecting asteroids, is that correct? Yes. Excellent. Can someone make a note of that? Nice. Well, Aaron Ryan Astronomer, I guess you better start building your asteroid shelter. Uh, I, I'm not really worried about it. Whatever. Anyway, we have all the information we need. Thanks for speaking with us. You're welcome. Activate the death ray! We better end the show now, because we have a death ray to fire and... Uh, uh, hello? This is Lisa Story Lombardi, and I'm the Assistant Director for Community Affairs at the Spitzer Science Center. Oh, uh, hi. IR2, you do realize that Spitzer is a robotic mission to explore the universe, don't you? It is? Oh, well then, until next time, remember, robots will rule the universe. Good night, everyone. Uh, did anyone shut down the death ray? Darn it, I just washed that.